always good to have a dry run so now you've got a, a feeling for what you're dealing with or what you're working with so I put another layer of bricks in the base and then my my bricks for the the oven and now I'm trying to decide you know I don't know is it the right height is the right nice working height so I'm going to measure the height this to where I am now I'm going to check it out for like a normal oven the other thing I noticed, look, notice how these, this one doesn't reach because the wood is on here. So when I build it, I'm going to need to bring these bricks in a bit. So it'll be more of an oblong shape, which will be fine as long as I can still get my pizza in and a tray for doing roast. I'll be fine. I've now started putting, uh, bricking it up so you can see it, we started already. So we've got so on the inside, the bits we're not going to see, we use these concrete blocks. It's quick and easy to do. Um, and we won't see that because we're going to put our piece of slab on top of that. Um, things I want to point out is you can just see here this damp course and inside the damp course as well. So the whole idea is I don't want it to get wet, the oven. So we've got a damp course around there. I'm going to fill this up with mud up to just below the damp course. And I've got a lining to go inside there as well. And then I'll put a, a vermiculite um, mix in here to seal it uh, and to really to keep the, the heat in. So we're just sealing it or making it um, insulation from below as well. And then outside you can see I've started uh, bricking uh, the, un the layers underneath. So this is cheap engineering bricks which can go underneath the damp course. So I was going to stop at that level but I'm going to go up one more level and then put the damp course in there and then I've got these other bricks to go on the outside so that I have a, a double layer so effectively we have like a, a, what do you call it a, a, like a cavity wall and then from here upwards we have a vermiculite insulation again and the other key thing is I, I lay the bricks out just so I can see where I need to cut in so I needed to cut a couple of bricks in for here and here and um, yeah that's it so get it all ready now I'm going to mix up cement and do the rest that's the brickwork finished so now all we're going to do is uh, mix up our uh, vermiculite five parts vermiculite with one part cement a bit of water and then we're going to put that in here to bring it up to the top here to give us some insulation and some extra support for the bottom of the, the oven so let's add our cement and start mixing that up. Mixing in the cement is really easy because it's incredibly light. Alright, let's start adding our water. and it really soaks the water up. Right, come back in a minute once I've mixed this up. Well, I think that's looking pretty good. So, it's all in cases, just put it in. And then start filling this up. Okay, bring it back once I've filled it up. Look at that, just the right amount. Spread that out. Huh. You almost think I'd measure that. I'm quite impressed with that. I sort of guess well, roughly right, how much do I need? Spot on. Right. Gonna leave that to dry now. I think I might leave it a day actually. Um, and then slab on top, then start building the outsides up, and then start building the oven, and then the other sides up, and then insulation round. Bob's your badger. Welcome back, so it's a month after I originally uh, 
on the last part of the video you saw. The reason I had to stop is we had some bad weather, a lot of rain, uh, who would fall that, rain in the UK. Uh, and then I went on holiday, so I'm now back and I'm gonna finish the job. So you saw me put the insulation in the, the base here. So before I start bricking it all up, you need to do a trial run to make sure you got everything right. So first things first, I put my slabs on. I was only gonna put one slab, pretty rock solid and I'm thinking about putting two slabs just to raise it up a little bit more. The uh, next thing is I've been putting the trying out the bricks around the side. The key thing is I want it to be snug here but I also wanted an overhang down here so the rain can drip off which looks good. Also here I'm making sure I've enough room for my uh, insulation. So my main insulation there, this is a little bit insulated, but that will be my main insulation against the, the key oven. And then, right, ignore this for the moment. Um, so I've got a little Robin Lodge watching me. He's obviously looking, trying to get the things I'm doing, some digging to get the worms. Um, so I'm trying out the oven to make sure that all looks good still. Um, so the other key thing is I was thinking about air air coming in so I'm used to making sure I have the right amount of air coming into my tan doors so I looked at different options and I originally bought one of these um, you know a cavity wall bridging so the whole idea is I'd slip that in under there and then you know air would come in and I could plug it and regulate the air coming in and then I thought well hold on I, I struggled with this because that was like seven or nine pounds so I'm going to take that back and I then thought I was actually Excuse me, this is heavy. I actually um, cemented two of my um, uh, slabs together, uh, sorry, two of my bricks together to test out the glue. And I was thinking, well, this is pretty similar to that. So I was thinking, you know what, I'll use this instead. Then I was thinking some more. And I was thinking, that's all well and good. You try it out, and actually, you got a, you got a lip here. So I put it in the oven, that'd be great. The air would come in. But wouldn't it be nice if it was a bit more flush so I could actually sweep out the ash? So what I'm going to do is actually just use one brick. So it's only half the amount of air, but it's still enough, there's enough gap there. So I'll put that in there and that comes right the way out to the edge. I'll cut some chunks out of here so this drops down and I'll do the same the other side. So I have two, <laughs> it's Robin, uh, two, two air intakes. Um, so decisions now, before I go any further, I'm going to take this apart, so I now need to decide two, de two decisions. One, do I go one or two slabs? I will cement that in, but it's pretty solid already. And secondly, do I do it like this, with just this amount of, uh, yeah, if I do it like that, you can see how much air will get through. Or do I go with uh, the one with the bigger air intake? Yeah, look at that, that's a huge air intake, and I'll be having two of those, one either, one either side. Um, in theory, I could do, do it all the way around, couldn't I? I could have it in all four points. And, uh, hmm. hmm, that's a good point. I could do it in all four points, couldn't I? Have air intakes all the way around and then block them off as needed. Okay, that's something more to think about. So anyway, <laughs> Come back in a minute and I'll show it all bricked up and you'll see what decision I went for. 